So I bought a brand new GE hot water heater, installed it, and after I installed it, the pilot light won't stay on. Now, the right thing to do is to take it down, return it back, and get another unit, but it's so much hassle to uh, return it, so I'm going to go ahead and fix it. I know this voids their warranty, but I believe I can figure it out. So let me demonstrate what's the issue. I am going to have this on pilot, and then I am going to turn the knob to pilot, press it down, and then you can see that the pilot light came on now. So I'm going to keep on holding it for instruction says for a whole minute. So it's been about over a minute. So I'm going to let go on the pilot. And as you can see, it dies away. It doesn't matter how long I hold the pilot down, eventually it dies away. So I'm going to do some quick diagnostics to see what's going on. The very first thing I want to figure out is if this thermocoupler is working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the thermocoupler. It's this copper wire right here. And it slides out just like that. So that's a thermocoupler. What I have right here is a DMM digital multimeter. And I'm going to switch it over to volts. And I have my range in millivolts right now. On my leads, I'm going to use these alligator clips. Clip on black wire to the negative and red wire to my positive. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip it onto the positive onto the outside copper and the negative on top of this silver knob. So here's a close look on how it's hooked up. Negative to the silver knob and positive to the copper. Set on to pilot, push it down, start it up. Now, as a thermocoupler heats up, a slight voltage in the millivolt range starts to increase and I should get about 20 millivolts. So it's been about a minute and I only have 1.7 millivolts. That alone is a problem because I need to have 20. So I think I found the problem. So before I move on, I just want to let you know that I turned off the main gas right here. Take out this cover. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be an easy fix. Four screws are out. So, thermocoupler is off. I'm going to disconnect the gas, the pilot gas. Right there. And we'll disconnect the uh, the igniter. So now I have all three of those disconnected. Now I have to disconnect the gas up here. Okay, now I can take the whole thing out. And let's inspect this. So here we go. That ignites it right here. That's a gas valve. And right here, that's a thermocoupler. So I was messing around with this, and the thermocoupler actually shifts down by, I would say, a quarter of an inch. So maybe what happened was when they were transporting this, it uh, somehow got bumped down. So I moved the thermocoupler tip all the way aligned with 
um, as you can see the tip align with the uh, pilot so the, f the fire of the pilot directly heats up the thermocoupler So before I put everything back together, I also want to double check to see if the link is good. And you can see at this bottom corner right there that yes, the link is good. It's all intact. So that means that air is flowing through. So we're just going to put it back right now and see if it works. I'm going to slide this in. Pilot valve. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to retest the thermocoupler. So the pilot light is on. I don't know. It's probably okay. You can barely see it because I turned on the light. Oh, look! It's increasing. Six, seven. It's increasing really, really fast too. So that was it. That was the problem. The thermocoupler got bumped down. I just had to push it up a little bit so the tip aligned with the pilot. Obviously the the voltage, the millivolt is climbing, so this is a good thermocoupler. I'm just going to turn this off, reconnect this back inside. And you put back on all the screws. all over again all right oops so I can see at the pilot light is coming on let's press this down for a minute again my pilot stays on I forgot to turn this back to on okay now I'm going to turn it there we go. We can see it works.